guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ino and today I just want to start off the video by saying a very big thank you to all of my subscribers you guys have been so amazing thank you for the love you continue to show to the channel thank you for the positive comments the encouraging words thank you for the likes thank you for helping grow this channel we are indeed growing we are on road to 10k you guys Jani, thank you so so much guys thank you for the support guys you guys are amazing I love and appreciate each and every one of you if you're new to the channel please do subscribe to be part of the family and do continue to tell your friends tell their friends about the channel now today we are going to be having a chat i'm going to be sharing with you um what i do for a living i'm going to be talking about my career how i got into it um yeah basically where it all started all the way to where i am right now so for those of you that don't know i am a professional actress and how this all came about was that i've always i've always knew that there was a creative side to me you know from the time i was very young of course when you're a child you can't really um you know put a finger to what exactly it is but i knew that i am more on the creative side of things and um, I remember how I was always, you know, interested in plays. I was always interested in imitating what I see on TV, on our soapies. You know, I've always just been interested in, um, in, in the arts, I would say. But of course, being very young, I was not able to say exactly what it is. But I knew that that is where, that is where my interest is. So, okay, as a child, it's the, it's the usual, you know, um, thing of being a child that is really out there that is always wanting to um, be the you know the, the family clown the family entertainer that was me that was I was that child you know I was never really shy to get on stage even when we are out for family events or I remember when we would go to my father's workplace and there would be competitions by Bitsabana on the stage and I would be the first to ride, you know, whatever it is. I was always that child that was really um, very active and very interested in things that allowed me to perform. So um, the time, fast forward to um, me being in grade six and me having a conversation. I remember with my mom telling her that uh, Mama, I actually want to go to an art school. And my mom was like, what is that? And, you know, I also couldn't really, I don't know how to best simplify it for my mom. Because, I mean, when you leave high, when you leave primary, <laughs> the next thing is going to high school. But now when you tell your parents that um, the high school that I want to go to is an art school and they've never heard of it. You know, it's a bit of a problem even for you to continue explaining exactly what it is that you want. So I was in grade six when I, I remember having this conversation with my mom for the first time. Okay, we just spoke about it. Um, but of course, I was still going to grade seven the following year. So in grade seven, I brought up the conversation again. Mama, do you remember, Hore? I want to go to an art school. And my mom was like, yes, but um, do you remember that I told you that I don't know what that is? And I started saying that it's a school where I will get to do drama and I will get to specialize in it. And, you know, from the little research that I had done and my bit of understanding of what an art school was, I tried to explain it to her. And she was like, OK, that's fine. You know, but where are we going to get the school? Now, that is where everything got stuck. So, I don't have the answers to that, where we're going to find the school. But I do know that they are at schools somewhere. You know, I do know that there are schools that specialize in this. I've heard of people saying that they went to an art school and that's where they are, their careers or basically their training, their formal training started um, for acting. I don't know, you know, and my mom is like, okay, it's okay, you know, we'll see what we do. We'll see what we can find. Um, we still have time. It was very early in the year. So somehow God just led my parents to an office park that was right next door to the art school that I ended up going to. It's in Brownfontein. So as they were there, um, my mom then tells me that, you know, so we're there with your dad. And then I see the school and I tell your dad, which is basically, here's the school that Ino wants to go to. And they immediately then went in. I hope I'm telling this part of the story correctly because I wasn't there. 
but I'm just trying to remember how they would tell me the story. So they went in and I um, obviously inquired and then they got application forms for the following year. And then they came home to tell me that, oh, we found your school and um we actually got some forms and i was so excited you guys there i was taking these forms paging through them it's probably what i did like the whole night that day i was so excited you guys plus they had the most beautiful application forms guys yeah okay so the school is the national school of the arts they had the most attractive application forms like when you look at them you're like yes i am i am within so yeah then that was that and then we then filled in the application forms returned them and basically after you turn you return the application forms you then get an audition date so in order to get into the school you need to audition so i then got my audition date i went in for auditions that was in 2006 yes i went in for auditions and then after your audition obviously you then wait for the response so i auditioned for the national school of the arts to get into the school and a few weeks later, we then got a response that I was accepted into the school. Guys, that was the beginning of what I call my fairy tale life because I really feel like I am so blessed to be doing what I'm doing. It's actually for me a fairy tale, it's actually a dream come true. Mina, um, I don't take such things for granted, even the fact that somehow my parents found themselves in an office park that is right next door to the school when they when they knew nothing about the school to even start with so yes guys um i then went for auditions at the school i got accepted and after getting accepted now it was basically me getting through my grade seven year and then going to high school the following year so the following year then was grade eight of course you know i mean for me it was just such a dream come true that i'm in the school the first day i was just looking at the walls i was just looking at the you know the banavas kolomole i was like what am i a part of this god you are great and that was then my journey so um of course when i'm in the school then we we have drama as a major so it has they have four majors which is drama art music and dance you specialize in one so i was specializing in drama and that was that for the next five years i was in this high school where i got to specialize in drama and at the end of high school or well, not really the end in grade 12 in matric I then heard about Mobango auditions. So I um, obviously went to, to give it a try. So I got there. And so when I get to these particular auditions, guys, they go weird. Like, I don't remember the, <laughs> you know, guys, I get to these auditions and I find all these girls that look so much older than me. Mind you, I'm, it doesn't help that I'm such a skinny girl to start with. But also now, can you imagine me? at 18 um so short so skinny and i'm here with ladies with, with, with ladies like i will see see you know and i'm like oh, okay this audition mm, okay so i got there and i auditioned and w when i was doing the audition that's when i found out that the the role was for someone much older was for a much older lady not much much older but um a little older than what i was so i auditioned for that role but um they showed so much interest in me and it, it was just um for me it was just like you know what the fact that i'm here and they liked what i did and i got the experience that was more than enough the fact that i entered into an audition room professionally um of such a big show in the country that for me was huge and you know it was it was just big you know so obviously i did not get that role but they did then get in touch with me and say, we really liked you and would like to invite you to come and attend workshops that um, that the Duma Gandrovo hosts. And we'll see if as time goes on, maybe there'll be another role that is more suitable for you and you will then audition for that. So with time then, obviously then, because I was still in matric, these, these workshops used to happen during the day. Since I was still in matric, and still in school full time i was unable to to attend those auditions i mean those workshops but um it was it was like something very exciting for me that i've been invited to attend workshops like the doctor <laughs> um 
so i knew that you know what as soon as i get done with school this is definitely um something that i'm going to be doing because i know that you know in varsity it's a bit more flexible so i might have some time to attend these workshops and then about two months later um there were now open editions open editions for morango once again and this time the description said 18 year old girl it, like everything was just fitting i was like i ah, know now this is me so then um on the day of the audition i used to stay in hostel at school i used to stay at school and um yeah it was very strict but you know I, I i had to make a way to get to those auditions which i did they were in baseline i got there and i thought i was early you guys i thought i was early i got there to find the queue anchoring you know you, you know if, if you like find those pictures or videos of how it looked like got the first democratic elections in 1994 it looked exactly like that you guys it was so full i got there at around two seven seven ish but it was <laughs> it was already so packed you guys um yeah that 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 i mean obviously that would be very discouraging i was thinking that i'm missing a day of school for these auditions and i find it so full um chances are i won't even be able to go in yeah, no, no, to you guys. But you know what? I got there and I was like, let's just see how this goes. Mind you, I'm even wearing school uniform because according to me, I mean, I'm here at seven. Um, the auditions are due to start at nine. So ah, latest, I should be at school by 12 o'clock. So I just went in my school uniform so that I can still get a chance to, um, so that I can just rush back to class afterwards. Yo, guys, <laughs> was that not me fooling myself? It was so full, you guys. Yeah, it was so full. I will never forget that image that I got and the way yo nyenga pata it in July, seeing all those people that are standing in the line there, it was yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So I got there and obviously stood the whole day. I didn't even bring lunch because I thought I was gonna be like in and out later, it's twelve o'clock. I'll still make it for lunch at hostel at school. No guys, I queued up all day. I was just surviving got a cool time, like Nikereka. You know, guys, do you guys know cool times? You guys do know cool times, then? Like ice pop. <laughs> so Nikino ice pop for the whole day, the cool time, the whole day. That's all I was surviving on because it was so hot, firstly. And did you know I was I was too anxious to eat, you know. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna have these this ice J for the for the day until I go in. So now the day then goes. These auditions were from nine to four PM. Nine AM to four PM. So I can see now it's like around three. I am still very far from the door. I have filled in my application form, my, my audition form, I, I, I mean. I filled in my audition form and I'm just holding it now so that I can get my turn, obviously. But it didn't look like I was going to get my turn. There were so many of us, so much to a point that um, eventually... And also it's because it was open auditions. So um, open auditions are auditions that are advertised on tv on radio on social media it's not those private auditions where you get there and you find like maybe 10 people or less auditioning for the same role this one was like nationwide everybody from everywhere was there everyone had heard about the auditions i remember my number was one like close very close to 2000 my audition number was like one nine what what it was really packed you guys there was a whole lot of people and you know guys there was even familiar faces like some people that you've already seen on TV. Can you imagine the intimidation? And you just there as an 18 year old with absolutely no professional experience, um, but only your confidence and your God in your pocket, you know? And you're like, I, I'm going to stand in this queue and God will make it happen for me. But now at around three, it looked like it was definitely not going to happen because the audition is also ending. Um, the auditions are ending at four and I haven't went in. But then um, one of the directors then came out and started like basically walking on the line to just try and hand pick there was a lot of people that did not fit the description of the audition so when they got inside obviously then the um, directors and producers see that it's not what they're looking for but now that is taking up time so they ended up coming out um to hand pick people from the queue to just um you know all all these people that are 18 or look 18 and whatever so then i was lucky to be handpicked because i am 18 i looked 18 and then they handpicked me then at least then um they took us closer to the door because 
um they were like no guys we are looking for the person that we're looking for needs to be like this and like this and like this and there's a lot of people that are going in that can't even speak chivenda that can't that aren't even um in the age group that we're looking for like even if you weren't exactly that age but looking that age it's also okay but there's a lot of people that are coming in that uh cannot speak chivenda that are not in that age group you know all of that all of that so they're like we just want to do this um get get to see as many people as we can before we end the audition in about an hour's time so they then took the bunch of us that were um looking a little like the age and we got there at the door now not even inside <laughs> but just outside the door that's outside and i was looking around to see now how many are we and i look and i like we're still like over 200 there's still so many of us and i'm like no why couldn't they just take like five of us but yeah no they take um that bunch of us and then um i i finally got my turn to go into the audition room and i was like you know what god i waited all day for this actually i would i waited all my life for this you know um and this one i really want the first one um i wasn't i wasn't too worried about not getting the role because the role wasn't even um for my description so i wasn't i wasn't very worried about that but this one i felt like it was fitting my description so well and i was i really had to just get into my secret place with my god right there and then and say god please make this happen please allow me please give me the ability to do my best you know please give me the ability to impress these people so i at least get a call back i mean it was about yo guys it was i had been there from seven in the morning so you can imagine how many hours that was so i was already my energy is no longer what it was in the morning you know so i was just like god you know give me that energy again give me that spirit to fight to fight and make sure that i get in and do my best so i went in and there were some of the actors that were also there we also had um the producer i think one of the producers were there as well as the directors so you can imagine guys the intimidation when I walked into that room, seeing these familiar faces and now seeing these unfamiliar faces, it was so scary, you know. Um, but anyway, I got in. Born now, guys. I mean, give me a stage. Give me a script and a stage. And even at my weakest or my lowest, I will come. Listen, I will come through like it's my last day on earth. So that's what I did, you guys. I was like, I'm going to give this my all. And I performed as though my life depended on it. Um, I then managed to get through my audition. And I got a call back. And then I left, obviously, going back to hostel. But mind you, I'm walking, guys, from baseline to Bramfontein. I'm walking all by myself. But like, I'm like, I got the call back. I'm good to go. So now I walk back to school and it's already now later on in the afternoon and i just get there and think back you know think back about the day and ask myself what could the verdict be but me being me and being so positive and being so confident in myself i was like nope i killed it <laughs> and the fact that i got a, a call back you know you know also was like something that that gave me that confidence as well so then i get a call back and they said they'd communicate the date for the call back so they then communicated the date for the call back and for me it, you know when i go for call when i went for the call back i was like ah, there's probably not going to be much less of us there's probably going to be like maybe at most 10 of us now just coming back for the callbacks guys did i not get there oh by the way callbacks are when you go for an audition and then they ask to see you again that's basically it and that's when they are now also starting to um, reduce the amount of people so if initially there was 10 of you auditioning when they call you for a call back there could be five of you then they call you for another call back there could be three or two of you whatever so when i got to the call back guys i thought there would be very few of us here guys did the call back not look like a whole audition on its own there were so many of us once again oh i got there and i was like oh my word really i have to go through this again so i did the call back and then i left and then i got a call for another call back i came back for that call back mind you guys these callbacks just seemed like 
um first time auditions on their own because there were so many of us anyway but i did the, the second third call back where there was still quite a lot of us the fourth callback guys there were so many callbacks for 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 this role there were so so many callbacks so the fourth callback was when i think we were about 10 10 8 ish or so so that's when i started seeing the light i was like yeah no it looks good now when there's a few of us because it means that firstly the fact that i'm back it means that there is hope for me to possibly get the role um but also just the fact that there's less people it's it's just a bit less stressful and less competitive so we got there and we did that call back and then we got another call back which i remember very well because now there was five of us so we get there and there's five of us for that other callback. It was probably the fifth or sixth callback. I don't remember. We were about five. And then from that five, we were three. And then from that three, we were two. Excuse me. Yeah, guys. So now when we got, already when we got to three, I was just like, if I'm making it this far, chances are if i continue to do this good this role could be mine you know so now there's three of us until there were two of us and yeah i remember when the, the that was the the last call back and then there was only two of us and um me and this lady then you know we we became so close from from being the last two remaining we built our own relationship we exchanged numbers she's actually one of the actors now on mobang but i don't want to mention who in case she's not comfortable with it but we then built such a beautiful relationship exchanged numbers i remember over the the days of waiting for a response we, we would be like talking and asking each other have they said anything to you no have they said anything to you no and we, we we just became very very good friends since then even now she's she's um one of my absolute faves so we then um we then started just checking up on each other on the responses that we have gotten or not gotten and how we were feeling you know but for me then it was the way we had become also so so close to each other for me it was like you know what um the fact that we have gotten so far together and the fact that i've gotten to know how beautiful this lady also is as a person and to just see how badly she also wants this as much as i do i was like if i am to not necessarily lose out on the role but if she's to get the role and not me i really wouldn't mind i feel like she deserves it as much as i do and she has worked as hard as i have and of course yeah, it took quite a while for them to come back to us but when they did um they called me when i was at school i remember i was at school my goodness this video is getting long so i'm gonna do a part two you guys i think okay actually let me just let me just start concluding so they called me when i was at school like i said i used to stay at school so they called me when i was at school we were in the dining hall having lunch and i got a call um to say hi you know would you be able to come through to the sabc tomorrow to um <sighs> guys you i'm even getting so emotional thinking about this guys god god will answer you in his way in his time anyway so they they then called me to come through tomorrow and then but at that time at that point of the call i'm just thinking oh no another call back so they're like, yeah, because you got the role and you need to come in tomorrow. I was like, mm, why? You don't get to say that so calmly. Wait, what? And they're like, yeah, so you got the role. In, in, in. Guys, I was just screaming and, you know, I don't even know where that phone call ended up. I don't even know what is the last thing I said or we said to each other, guys. There I was just throwing the phone all over the place, just screaming. My friends are asking what's going on i tell obviously now i don't want to tell everyone at the same time but i tell my two best friends there i'm like this is what's happening and they also start going crazy with me when the dining hall by the way they go start going crazy with me so like we are full same time no more food and then we just rush out to go talk about it to go you know guys it was just the most oh guys i don't think i felt like that well, at that time, I don't think I had felt like that ever before. So yeah, I then got the role on Mobango as Rendani. And I joined the show in 2011. In 2011. Yes, I was in matric in 2011. So yes, I am turning 10 years 
this year in the industry, you guys. Hence, I call myself a professional actress. Not only because of that, but also because um, I respect what I do. It's not a hobby. It's not um, something that I am doing for now, but I've also got something to fall back on. It is a profession that I respect, that I studied, that I take very seriously, and I have absolutely no respect for anyone that thinks any less of acting. Anyway, so yeah, guys, then I got the role, and that is how I basically got into the acting industry professionally. Of course, at school, we were... Um, we did acting, we were trained, we, there were, a lot of our training was theatre, hence theatre remains my first love, yeah, I, I love, I love, love, love theatre, um, but then professionally, I then started 10 years ago on Mubango, and I am forever grateful for that opportunity, I'm forever grateful for God, um, to God that he opened such big doors for me, because I mean, Mubango is a show that I grew up watching, and I mean, you can only, I, I don't know, for me, it was going to be in my wildest dreams that I see myself on Mubango. So for me to go for an audition there and actually get the role and actually join that show while I was so young was such a miracle. You know, it was a miracle for me. Um, yeah, that's that's how I saw, or rather that's, that's one of the instances where I saw, Hore, you know, God will give you exactly what you ask for, but at his time. So, yeah, I then got the role. I then started. Um, I, I went in, obviously, for them to, for, for the logistics of everything. And then I got to meet everyone. Hey, guys, okay, for me, the highlight, Komobango, guys, apart from everything, um, apart from all the public figures, but for me, the highlight was getting to work with Ndate Dumagan Trofu, guys, that remains a dream come true even today. You know, I can't believe that um, he believed in a young girl like myself and, yeah, gave her such a huge platform to grow and become what I am becoming. So, yeah, it was huge. It still excites me till today. I'm still in awe of what God did. And yeah, that is how I got into the industry. Um, I am currently still on Mobango and it's been an amazing experience. I will do a separate video about that because this video is extremely long. But that is how I got into the industry. We will continue to have some more chats about the industry. Um, I will continue to um, put up more videos about it. But I just wanted to just do this one as an introductory video of how I got into it. And we'll continue to chat more about it with time. But yeah, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment. And do tell your friends to tell their friends about the channel. If you're new, please subscribe <laughs> to join the family. I really, really love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for the love. And thank you for Road to 10K. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah.